index laws extension. Index laws are shortcuts for working with indices, either with numbers or in algebra, two examples here. And for every index law, we can show why it works by expanding a particular problem. These problems are multiplying powers of the same base. The base of a power is the number that is being multiplied in this power. So 2 to the power 3 means 2 times 2 times 2. The base number is 2. The power or the exponent is this small number here. So these are multiplications of powers of the same base. They're both 2, they're both x. To look at a shortcut for this, we can expand it out. 2 times 2 times 2 is 2 cubed, times 2 times 2 for 2 squared, and you can see that that gets us 2 to the power 5. An example with algebra, this is x to the power 4 times x to the power 3. We've quite clearly got x to the power 7. You can see that the shortcut involves when we're multiplying powers of the same base, we add their indices. And we can write an algebraic way of putting that. a to the power of m times a to the power of n equals a to the power of m plus n. That's the way of writing the first law as an algebraic rule. So if we are asked to simplify an algebraic expression, I've got some trickier ones here than our examples. x squared times x cubed is x to the power 5. y, if there's no power, it's 1. Anything to the power 1 is just itself. y1 times y2 is y to the power 3. Sometimes we will get coefficients involved. Multiply them first. Negative 6 times 2 is negative 12 x squared times x to the power 1 is x to the power 3. y to the power 1 times y3 is y4. And I've got a lonely little z in there. Going with that is law 2, dividing powers of the same base. And in the same way, I'm going to expand this one out. That's 3 to the power 5 divided by 3 to the power 2. And we know we're allowed to cancel common factors. So you can see that I'm left with 3 to the power 3. The shortcut to divide powers of the same base is to subtract the products. Expanding this one out to check. Cancel any common factors. And I've got x squared. 4 minus 2 is 2. And so the algebraic rule here is that a to the power of m divided by a to the power of n, the shortcut is a to the power of m minus n. Now we can get some pretty tricky questions with these. And in fact, you'll see in the second one, I've combined law 1, multiplying, and law 2, dividing. Simplifying here, deal with coefficients separately. So we cancel common factors. 2 goes into both of these, leaving me with 5 over 2. x to the power of 6 divided by x to the power of 2. You can work out your cancelling by subtracting. I'm left with x to the power of 4. And so I have 5x to the power of 4 over 2. When we're combining the rules, a good idea to simplify what's on top and the bottom first and then start cancelling, unless there's anything really obvious. So on the top here, we'll have 5x to the 7y squared over negative 6, that's 2 times 3, x squared y. There's no common factors of the numbers y squared divided by y1 is just y on the top there. x to the 7 over x to the 2 leaves me with x to the 5. Now, if you'd been dividing by something larger, if this was x to the 12, you'd be left with the x's down here. This will be dividing by a negative, so it's a negative, negative result. 
5x to the 5y over 6 negative out the front there.